Okay, this is the Ice Co. JP30 straight out of the box. First impressions, it looks really nice. Now we're back to stock. Yay, stock is so fun. What's up guys, Jesse and Melissa here with Adventure Endeavor. And today we're talking fridges. So if you guys don't know who we are, we are Adventure Endeavor, this is our YouTube channel. And basically we have been full-time traveling, overlanding, off-roading, um, all that kind of stuff in our grand design with our Ram 2500, as well as our 1989 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. So a while ago, we did a rear seat mod and we used this giant, oh, don't mind that, this giant Iceco fridge. Uh, Iceco did send both of these fridges out to us and originally we thought that we would need this capacity. We did use it for a few trips and to be completely honest, it was freaking awesome. Trips when we didn't have our RV with us, it was seriously, perfect there's tons of space this is the vl65 i believe it's the dual zone um it has the baskets everything like that and we would run it off of a little lion energy portable power pack worked great we did the seat delete so it had a nice space to fit we loved it there were zero issues with it to be completely honest with you but since we've been back on the road with our little one we have noticed that we missed the sixth seat this is technically a six seater and the reason is is because lots of oft times lots of times oftentimes lots of times we travel with other families that have kids so it'll be four adults two car seats and we'll go do different things go to national parks hiking go out to dinner and we often need this sixth seat reach out to iceco they sent us a smaller fridge that'll be a lot easier to put on our seat or put it in our Jeep or put it in our trailer. It's lighter, just a little more compact and it's gonna work better for our current situation. So today we're gonna to put our seat back in. We're gonna open and unbox the new fridge, kind of show you that, talk about some of the specs. And uh, if you're interested in this fridge, we'll link this video as well as our super simple budget seat delete platform that we put in here. We will link that video as well. Now we're back to stock. Yay, stock is so fun. We got our six seat back, which is nice. You know, we kept it knowing that we might go back to it eventually. Still a good amount of storage underneath. And if you've never uh, removed a seat out of one of these Rams, it's super easy. And the cabs are the same for the 1500s, the 2500s, the 3500s. And I believe um, the only difference on the mega cab is back here. I think all the bolt patterns are exactly the same. Because the seat that we had, the 60% seat that we just pulled out, was actually from a Ram 1500. All right, so the new fridge is a JP30. It's a lot smaller, so we're going to go ahead and unbox this and then uh, show you some specs, talk about it, kind of show you our, our first initial impressions on it. And then we'll actually do a side-by-side -side comparison, just so you can see the overall size difference between the JP30 and the VL65. Okay, this is the Ice Co. JP30 straight out of the box. Very clean. First impressions, it looks really nice. Uh, we got just the one handle on this side. Hinges up all the items that come with it. Yeah, um, and this one is a single... Single compartment. Single right. compartment. Mm -hmm. So the VL60 has dual zone. This is single zone, which is fine for us. It's got a nice uh, digital display on the top for power and your temperature, max eco mode. Um, it does come with a basket, a removable basket. The baskets are so money because when you're loading up for a trip, you just bring the basket in the house, you load it up, and then you put it in your fridge, and it's just super easy. The same with uh, 
when you're done with your chip, you bring the basket in and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. So we weren't aware, but it actually comes with a nice soft bag zip on cover, which is nice because it just helps protect your unit. So we'll definitely put that on and show you how that kind of goes on. And as well, like all of these fridge freezers, they have AC power and DC. You know, if you want to put it in your garage and get it nice and chilled before a trip, mm -hmm. and then you can put it in your truck and uh, get it switched over to DC power. You can uh, download an app. They've got a QR code on the side here for that. It's, it's really nice. There's a plug down in here. If you want to take a look. So really easy drainage when you're done using it. If you have any liquid, which would mostly be condensation mm -hmm. um, because obviously it's not a cooler, this is a refrigerator. We do have a light right here that is you know, on a little switch operated by the door opening. That was uh, super nice. The VL60 has one in each compartment and mm -hmm. there's nothing like when you go in your fridge at nighttime to grab something and there's a light, you don't need a headlamp. It's mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is nice too. It also has like a little chart showing you different types of food and the recommended temperatures for your fridge. Um, and then also a little error code troubleshooting taped right in here so you don't have to necessarily keep the manual with you if you, you know, just want to refer to this for any error codes that might pop up. Yeah, we didn't really have any issues with the VL60. The only error code we got was low battery voltage E1. And that typically was because our power pack was was getting low and it was trying to tell us that but if you put these things in the economy mode once they're cool they seriously last forever okay so really interesting feature here that i did not realize this came with you pop off these little tabs and then you can attach this like spring loaded handle and then this pops into here and one on that side that's backwards but you get the idea uh and so a little handle comes out, springs back in place, oopsies. Yeah, and they provide you with what appears to be stainless hardware and the wrench to install this. It comes with your 12 volt plug here as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get the bag put on it, get the handle put on it, and we'll kinda try to show you that process the best we can. Well, another thing that's kind of cool is with this pouch, they give you some pockets for just random stuff. I mean, if you wanted to maybe not lose your 110 charger, you could stick it in there. Or if you have some camping stuff, or what else would maybe go in like there? Napkins. Maybe yeah, I mean, if you, if you have forks. like burgers and brats in here, yeah, you could do some forks and napkins. And then obviously it's vented here because the fridge will create some heat when it is running. So I have that vented. And then they have the clear uh, little cutout right here so you can access all the power controls, everything like that. How's that going, babe? Oh, I, f I need to put that there. Okay, there we go, that's good. Well, there you have it. This is the size difference. This is the original VL65. VL65 that we had. And now this is the JP30. What a big difference, look at this. Look at the side comparison. Come over here. Come over here. So it's a good probably four inches yep. narrower. Uh, about probably about five, inches, five shorter. inches shorter. This one's a lot easier for me to lift. Yeah, I don't even think you could lift the other one like that. Like no, no way. And then a probably a good seven, eight inches shorter. Yeah, and I mean, here's the deal. They literally make, I don't know, probably like 20 different sizes. We're not saying one is better than the other. We're just saying that they make every option um, for whatever your situation is. Like if you were full-time overlanding, living out of your truck only, and that's the only thing you had, you'd probably want this one. Definitely. But for us, it is more of like a, uh, we it's do like a, a weekend trip yeah. or, or it's a supplemental to our RV's fridge. We could just put our drinks in here or whatever. Or if we're out for the day, you know, just like out on a long day, we bring drinks, we bring snacks and food with us. Uh, we just we just don't necessarily need something this large for, um, you know, day excursions. So you know, it's going to be, be nice. a much better size for us. It's going to be so nice because it's, it's so much lighter. We could literally put the Lion Energy Safari LT on top while it's plugged in and just carry it like all 
at the same time. That's true. Let's have Melissa, because you can actually lift this one, put it in the back seat of the truck, and we'll kind of show you that. Uh, yeah, close that, that's better. Right. Okay, so we actually can fit it right here in the middle of the floor. Find the zipper. Find the zipper, Here's the zipper. And can still access it. Um, not ideal but it could work here um, if we wanted access to all the seats. What we'll probably end up doing is just putting it right here on this seat, and you said putting the fridge portion of it like out that way so it can vent. Yeah, so we'd probably put the vent towards this side. Basically, what, what we like about this is it's just more options. If we wanna have a four seat in here, we could have two kids in the back, have the cooler in the middle. Mm -hmm. If we were road tripping, mm -hmm. we could put it on this side. And as well, it'll fit in our Jeep, no problem. And here's the kicker, Melissa can lift it, no problem. So that's really nice. And I did sit in this front seat, um, totally comfortable with it like that. It's actually a little too far back, to be honest. Um, so if you have a Ram 1500 or 2500, this is kind of what you're looking at with the JP30. All right, guys, so this is another option here too. So obviously you can use the handles to strap it down because whenever we're off-roading, we have everything strapped down. So I could go around this handle here, down to the front seat, and then that way you have all this venting. It's not pressed up against your seat here. And then as well, what we would do down here is run a handle down here, a strap down here um, to, in between the crack of the seat. And we'd get it strapped down. Maybe I would put a leveler under here. I could build a little wedge or something of some sort or Honestly, even put like a towel or something oh, under just there. Just to make it flat. Just to keep it a little more level, because yeah. these fridges like to be level if possible. But I like the options. I like that I can easily just take it out. The power pack can live under here. Obviously, we can run it straight off the truck if we want. We just like the power pack for that added little bit of safety so you don't kill the vehicle's batteries. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. That's the JP30 made by Iceco. Like I said, we'll link the video on the VL60 and we'll link the video for the seat delete. If you have any questions, let us know down in the comments. And uh, like always, thanks for watching.